In this video we'll show you how to fit the chain and sprocket kit on a U04 Mot 125. This video also works for many other makes and models. So the parts you need for this job are a rear sprocket, a front sprocket, a chain and a front sprocket retaining washer. All these parts are available on the website. So the tools you need for the job are a Phillips screwdriver for the chain guard, some pliers for the split link, a 27mm socket for the front sprocket nut, a 16mm socket for the rear sprocket bolts, however sizes might vary on different models, a 19mm socket for the rear axle nut, a 17mm spanner for the rear axle, two 13mm spanners for the chain adjuster, but sometimes the sizes might vary again, a laser or some sort of chain aligner, the correct torque wrenches, and then the tools I forgot to add are a hammer and chisel for the retaining washer and a 7mm socket for the front sprocket cover. Start by removing the front sprocket cover with a 7mm socket. Now using a hammer and chisel, open up the front sprocket retaining washer. Using a 27mm socket, remove the front sprocket nut while applying plenty of pressure on the rear brake pedal. Then remove the washer. Now elevate the rear wheel. If you don't have a centre stand, I found you can balance it precariously using a scissor jack. Then using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the chain guard. The next step is to remove the chain. Usually, you can just use some pliers to remove the split link. Then you can separate the chain. But, the chain on this bag was seized in place. So I had to resort to breaking the split link off. But it doesn't matter, because a new one comes with the chain anyway. Now you can take off the front sprocket. Using a 19mm socket, loosen the rear axle nut. You might have to hold the axle on the other side with a 17mm spanner to stop it spinning. If the axle won't budge, you can use a long thin drift and a hammer to tap it out gently, but be careful, you don't want to damage the thread on the axle. Why? Looks like a new axle. Right. Back as well. Don't worry about the rear caliper on this bike. We end up replacing it with a new one. Not a happy mutt. No. When you remove the wheel spacers, make sure you keep the right and the left side on the wrong side. They're both different lengths, so you don't want to mix them up. On most of these bikes, you use a 16mm socket to remove the rear sprocket bolts. Start by loosening all four about quarter of a turn, 
and then remove the bolts. Then take the sprocket off. Next you want to clean the surface on the wheel and make sure it's smooth. This ensures the sprocket sits nice, straight and flush when you fit it. Now place the new sprocket on the wheel. Here I'm using a few drops of thread lock on each bolt, then loosely fitting them in place. When you do this, you want to make sure the bolts and threads are clean. Here, I'm tightening each bolt bit by bit, going from one side, then to the opposite side each time. This ensures the sprocket sits nice and flush. Next, set your torque wrench to 35 newton meters and torque the bolts in the same sequence. Make sure you go over each bolt twice. Make sure your rear axle is clean and free of any loose rust. While you're there, check for any damage or for being warped. Then apply a generous coating of lithium grease. Put the wheel back into position and fit the spacers on either side. Then fit the caliper back on, ensuring the pads are on either side of the disc and the brake carrier is properly positioned on the swing arm. Next you want to put the chain tensioners into position. Now you can feed the axle through. As you can see, you need around three hands for this job, so if you've only got two, I'd recommend getting an assistant to help. Now, using two 13mm spanners, back off the chain adjusters on both sides of the wheel, most of the way out. Before fitting the front sprocket, it's a good time to give the area clean and apply a little spray of grease on the output shaft. Now fit the front sprocket, then the retaining washer, and then place the nut on, and do it up hand tight. Now loop the chain round the sprockets. Make sure the bags are neutral for this part. Then connect the chain with the link supplied. Then fit the plate over the link. Then using some pliers Fit the split link, making sure you fit it the correct way. Now with the rear axle nut just done up hand tight, tension the chain adjusters by hand until you've roughly got some sort of tension on the chain. Make sure you set the tensioners on both sides.
Now using a 17mm spanner and 19mm socket, loosely nip up the rear axle so there's a little tension. This brings the swing arm in slightly and ensures the wheel doesn't keep moving backwards. Now adjust the wheel alignment. I prefer to use a laser for this, it's very accurate. Then set the chain tension. You want it to be around 25 to 30 millimeters of slack on the lower chain run, around halfway between the front and rear sprockets. Once you're happy with the tension, tighten up the axle while applying a little bit of pressure forward on the rear wheel. This ensures the wheel doesn't move backwards, upsetting the tension and alignment. Now tighten up the tensioners on both sides by first tightening the bolt, then locking it with a nut using two 13mm spanners. Now using a torque wrench and a 19mm impact socket, torque up the rear axle to 70 Nm, again while putting a little bit of pressure forwards on the wheel. Once the axle and tensioners are torqued up, recheck the chain tension across the full revolution of the chain. Also check the alignment hasn't gone out. Using a Phillips screwdriver, fit the chain guide back on. Now lubricate the chain. Now pump the rear brake, then apply it firmly to hold the wheel in place while you tighten the front sprocket. Now using a torque wrench and a 27mm socket, torque the front sprocket nut up to 85Nm while applying the rear brake. Using a hammer and a chisel, flatten one of the tabs over on the front sprocket retaining washer so that it's over the nut. Then fit the front sprocket cover back on using a 7mm socket. Be careful not to over tighten these bolts. So that's how you fit the chain sprocket kit on these bikes. Once you've done it, just recheck the torque settings, recheck the chain tension, make sure the wheel spins freely and everything's fine. Um, also pump the brake. Chain and sprocket kit and sprocket retaining washers are available on the website rbmcstore.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like 
and hit the bell icon. Let's get the impact driver out. Yeah. <laughs>